what if I told you that you can run Comfy UI from anywhere, even on a laptop with no VRAM? This video shows you how. Here, we will build our own AI cloud using Allairs. Allairs is free and open source and easy to install with one simple command. In this tutorial, you will learn how to install Allairs step by step. And if you are a beginner, you can do this. So, ready? Let's start. First, you need a fresh installation of Ubuntu on your PC that supports ConfUI. We'll turn this PC into a server. You can access it from anywhere with one link. And for that, you don't need to be an expert. Even if it's your first time, you can still do it. I have added a link to the Ubuntu install guide. You have to just follow those steps. And I used an external 1TB SSD. I installed Ubuntu on that drive and I booted from it. You can also install Ubuntu on your internal or external drive and use the same PC where you will run ConfUI. So once Ubuntu is installed, if you are a beginner, just follow what I do. First, you have to install the Olairs Layer Pass app on your phone. Android users, open Google Play Store and search Layer Pass and just install it. And Apple users, open the App Store and search Layer Pass and install it. That's it. Then, open the app and create your Olairs ID. Save this ID, you'll use the same ID during the Olairs installation. First, open the terminal. You can find it in show apps. You can search for a terminal C command, open the terminal, and then you have to install curl. If curl is already installed, you can skip this. Then open the terminal. Then type sudo apt install curl and press enter. If you skip this step and try the Olairs command, you will see the curl command not found. After curl is ready, copy the Olairs install command from the official page. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. To start this project, open Olairs and follow the readme. Please start the repo so you can find it later. The download will start. Ubuntu will pull all the packages that Olairs needs and you will see them installed one by one. And in between, if you get any error at any point, stop the installation. Open the terminal first, uninstall Olairs. Olairs, click uninstall all. After it finishes, open the terminal and run the original installation command again. This clean reinstall fixes most of the issues. Moving on, if your PC has an NVIDIA card, Olairs will detect it and install the right driver and CUDA version. Then the images for the system will start to download. Next, the installer will ask for a domain name. Just press enter to use the default Olairs domain. Now, enter your Olairs ID. This is the ID you created in the Layer Pass app on your mobile. Type the same ID and press enter. The installer will confirm the ID and continue. You'll now get a URL with an IP and a port and a temporary username and password. Copy the URL and open it in your browser. You'll see the earlier setup page. Press continue. Choose your language. Here I'm choosing lang English. To activate Olairs, open the Layer Pass app on your mobile. Use the scan option in the app and scan the QR code on your screen. Make sure 
your phone and your PC are on the same Wi-Fi network. The setup will start. It will create a secure connection with HTTPS. This can take a little time. Wait until it is done. So when setup is complete, you will get your final URL. This is your personal cloud address. Save it for later. You can open your Allaire's desktop from any browser using this URL. Confirm the login request in the Allaire's LayerPass app. Set your own password in the app. Then return to the browser and login in with your new password. Without this confirmed step, no one can access your server. So this keeps it safe. Now you are on your personal desktop in the browser and here we are on the Allaire's dashboard. On the left side, you can see icons like files, marketplace and settings. This is your home screen. Open marketplace. This is the app store in Allaire's. You will see many AI apps like Olama and Hunyan Image 2 3D. There is a long list and you can install it with one click. For this video, we'll focus on ConfiUI. So type ConfiUI in the search box, click install and wait for it to finish. Then once done, open ConfiUI from installed apps. The ConfiUI page will load in your browser. In the sidebar, there is a menu named model management. You can search models and download the model file from here. Another menu is Plugin management. Here you can get ConfiUI custom notes. For this video, I am using Noon Chaku. From here, I search the node Noon Chaku and install it. It's very easy. Now you have to think where to save the model. Open the files panel. It may look blank due to security. Click the downloads folder, then go to the external folder. Here, open the AI folder. Inside, you will get the ConfiUI folder. Open that. Inside ConfiUI, you will get the models folder. Here, you can see all the models locations where you can save the model file. In the text encoder, you saw my text encoder UTMT5. What you have to do is download the model and drag it into the right folder. And then I click start. ConfiUI starts in just a few seconds. Now the open icon is visible. Click open to enter the ConfiUI graph. To stop, just click the stop button. Now the ConfiUI is open. I have already loaded the Nanchaku workflow. In the Flux DIT loader, you see the model files showing. Just select the model file, select the text encoder and the VAE model file and just add your prompt. So here my prompt is an adult lady with short pink hair stands in a neon lit convenience store. She wears cyberpunk clothes, a transparent PVC jacket over a dark top and a small tech backpack. Upper body short, she looks at the viewer and let's hit generate the result is generated in one second and here is the final result everything in the image matches the prompt a lady with short pink hair stands in a neon lit convenience store she wears cyberpunk clothes a transparent pvc jacket over a dark top now let's test it on my old macbook with the m2 chip and only 8 GB of RAM. So here is my MacBook test section. I am on my MacBook now. I am away from my PC. The PC at home is on and connected to the internet. And the Allair server is running. So now I open my Allair's URL in the browser on the MacBook. The page asks for confirmation. I open the Olair's layer pass app on my phone and confirm. Now the desktop opens on my MacBook. 
I selected Comfy UI, then click Start if it's not running. It may take a short time on the first start. So when it's ready, I click Open. My Comfy UI page is open on the MacBook. I load my known Charco workflow. All my files are already on the server. I do not need to upload again. So this is the benefit of using your own cloud. You can access the same files from anywhere. First, in the known Charco text encoder node, select the clip and text encoder model files. Then. In the Noon Chaku Flux TIT Loader node, select the model file. I set the image size to 1024 by 1024. And steps are 8 and leave the rest as default. So here I wrote a simple prompt. A dead woman, solo, long black hair with swept bangs, red eyes, short aqua sundress and aqua sandals. Night scene on wooden boats near a water tower, moon overhead, full body. Now I click generate. As a result, you can see in seconds, I got an anime style image that matches the prompt. Long black hair, red eyes, short aqua sand dress, night scene, moon overhead and the result looks good. And here is the best part. It is on my MacBook with 8 GB RAM and the image generated in seconds. I just click run and see how fast the image is generated. I tried this on my MacBook. Images were generated in seconds. It's quite fast. I queued several prompts and each image finished quickly. My MacBook actually has 8 GB RAM. I tried different resolutions. I changed the size to 720 by 1280. And here is my next prompt, which is in Chinese. Realistic portrait of a mature Chinese woman, upper body frontal, confident, gauged, smiling. And you can see the result. The result looks good. The image was generated in about one second. It matches the prompt. It's realistic portrait of a mature Chinese woman. So let's try another one. Another prompt in Chinese and English too. A realistic portrait of a mature female warrior, upper body in view, looking directly at the camera with a calm and determined expression. And you can see the result. The result is a clear portrait of a mature female warrior and it actually matches the prompt. Everything works on my MacBook. Let me remind you, I am far from my PC, but now I can run Comfy UI anywhere I want. So now let's talk about why OLEDs is better than a NAS. NAS is a small server for files on your network. The main job is storage and file sharing only. Whereas, Olers is a free and open source personal cloud. It runs AI apps, has developer tools, strong network security, and you can use it from anywhere. You can see Olers runs real apps and services. NAS is mostly storage with limited apps. And if I talk about security, Olers has sandboxing reverse proxy, VPN, and easy HTTPs. Whereas NAS exposes only a few services and needs manual setup. And if I talk about access, always give you your own URL and simple remote access. NAS remote access is harder and less flexible. And when it comes to modernization, Olers installs AI tools like Comfy UI and Olama in one click and supports GPUs, whereas NAS has no native AI platform. And one more thing to notice is cost. If we talk about financial things, 
or less is free and less often needs paid hardware and licenses.